Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'll show you how to do a Christmas star. So this is another Christmas tree ornament, super great for beginners and fun and easy to do. So let's get to it, stay tuned. So for today I have my 3.5 millimeter needle and I have some white and blue wool, but the colors are all up to you. So feel free to choose whatever you find pretty or whatever you already have at home. I'll start with blue since that's going to be my base color. So we are working it from the middle to the edges. So we are starting with a loop and five chains. Connect with a slip stitch, we want a little ring here, and then we will double the number of stitches in each chain. So we will go through the first chain and we will do two singles into the same spot. And we'll repeat the same with the rest of the chains. Until you get all the way to the last chain. We can do the next row with additions in every second stitch. So this time each even stitch gets two singles instead of one. Again, we need to reach the other end and then we will have 15 stitches. Now we double every third stitch in order to get 20 stitches in the round and in the next one we will add into every fourth stitch so we will have 25 stitches total and you kind of see the pattern so logically the following one is gonna be the fifth row with 30 stitches so when you finish that, when you finish the fifth row and have 30 stitches in your work, I'll meet you then and show you how to continue from there on. Okay, so now we have our circular bases and now we just need the five points here. So you can do them individually, but I'll also show you how you can do them directly on here so that you don't have separate pieces. So first we are going to need six singles into the first six chains. Then a chain and turn. And now we do the first two stitches together as one. Same with the last two. Again, turn with a chain and do one regular row of four singles. And now we can again turn with a chain and then we will again reduce by two. So we want a total of two stitches again and we do it at both ends. Again turn and then one regular row, two singles. Turn again, skip the first one and go through the second one and finish a slip stitch with a slip stitch. Shorten the thread and then pull it tight. And now we are again have our first point. The 
through our sixth stitch we go through then we again do six singles for the following point and we pretty much do the same thing we just did so we do that until we get all of our points of the star and then I'll meet you there to show you how you can finish up the last part but then you'll have pretty much everything done so the base star and then we'll just do a little bit of decoration and optional pieces on here so anyway I'll see you after I finish the points okay so here we are I did the second one as well so we need two So take the other colored thread with a darning needle through the middle and count four to the outside and go back through the middle. Same on all sides. There we are and you see what this looks like so it's actually up to you but I wanted to add like a snowflake inside but you can do pretty much any shape you want so you basically just go through the points you want to connect and then you get the shape of your choice. So in my case I'll do a little snowflake, a white snowflake inside a blue star. Okay, so now that we are done, we just need to connect the both sides and I recommend hanging it up with a little loop on top. So here is my little loop and you see what this looks like for now. So I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Also, you see here I used a little bit glittery yarn in here to make it a little bit more interesting. But all in all, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And that way you'll stay updated with everything that we post. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!